So in this video, we're going to go through a couple of examples relating to factorizing quadratic expressions. Firstly, just make sure you are aware with uh, the definition of a quadratic expression so that you know how to spot it in your exam. So question number one, we have x squared plus 7x plus 10. The first thing that you're going to do in this question is to look at your plus 10 and you're going to ask yourself what two numbers multiply to give you plus 10. So if we take over to the right hand side, we can say, okay, the number two multiplied by five gives you plus 10. The number minus two and minus five gives you plus 10 when you multiply them. 10 multiplied by one equals to 10 and minus 10 multiplied by minus one would also equals to plus 10. Once you've done that, you're going to look to the number which is in front of your x, your x coefficient, and that is plus 7. So you need to ask yourself, out of those numbers on the right-hand side that we've just written down, which of these will add together to give you plus 7? And out of all of these, the only numbers, two numbers that will add together to give you plus 7 is 2 and 5. You've basically done all of the hard work. Now all we need to do is set up our um, double brackets. So the equal sign goes underneath. We draw our two double brackets. We have to put, split up the x squared between each bracket, x and x. And then we just have to put in the answers that we've come up with already, which is plus 2 and plus 5. Now what I would always recommend to check is that you draw your two smiley faces and then you ask yourself, 2 multiplied by x gives you 2x, and x multiplied by plus 5 gives you plus 5x, and when you add those together, you get plus 7x, which is your uh, term uh, in the middle of your quadratic, which is what we are looking for, so we know that we've done it correctly. What I would say about these questions is that they are taught differently in different books. There's loads of different methods. This is just the method that we do um, in class. However, you may have seen it written differently in different books or taught differently by different teachers. So just be aware of that. Okay, let's move on to example number two. We've got x squared minus 9x minus 22. Okay, this one we're going to do the exact same way. We're going to look at our uh, number without an x or an x squared. Looking at that number, we need to ask yourself what two numbers multiply to give you minus 22. Be careful, because when it's a minus number, we need to make sure that we're taking that into account. So, what two numbers multiply to give you minus 22? Well, my first one will be, let's say, 2 multiplied by minus 11. Or you could have the minus on the other number, so it could be minus 2 multiplied by 11. You could also have 22 multiplied by minus 1, or minus 22 multiplied by 1. Now we're going to look at those sets of factors and we're going to say to ourselves, okay, is there any of those numbers that we have uh, written on the right-hand side that will add together to give us minus 9? Again, remember the minus there, which is really important. So the first one is 2 plus minus 11, which gives me minus 9. So we've got the correct answer. So we are going to then go underneath, draw our equal sign, draw our double brackets, split up the x squared into x and x, and fill in plus 2 and minus 11. Then we're going to do our check using our smiley face rule. So 2 times x gives me plus 2x, and x times minus 11 gives me minus 11x, and 2x minus 11x gives me minus 9x. Okay guys, so for this one we're going to do one more question where you've got a number without a number in front of the x squared. So this one again, we have minus 24. So again, we're looking at what numbers multiply, two numbers multiply to give you minus 24. So we can guess 2 and minus 12, uh, minus 2 and 12, uh, 4 times by minus 6 or minus 4 times 6. Um, you can also try 8 multiplied by minus 3 or minus 8 multiplied by 3. Okay, so I'm going to go with that for the minute and then I'm going to say to myself, okay, I mightn't have listed them all out yet, but do any of those that I've written down add up together to give me plus 10? Okay, so my first one is 2 plus minus 12. It's going to give me minus 10. That doesn't work. The next one, minus 2 plus 12, does give me plus 10. So there we go. 
there the two numbers that I need for my brackets. So underneath we're going to write equals, two double brackets, split up the x squared between x and x, and then fill in minus 2 plus 12. Now I'm going to do my quick check with my smiley faces. Minus 2 times x gives me minus 2x, and x times plus 12 gives me plus 12x. Minus 2x plus 12x gives me plus 10x. Okay guys, so in this one we're going to look at a slightly more challenging example and the reason why it's more challenging is because we have a number now in front of the x squared. So it's just going to require a little bit more thinking. But we're going to start off the same way we always do by looking at our plus 8 and asking ourselves which two numbers multiply to give me plus 8. So uh, again, you're just throwing out some ideas. We could have 4 and 2. I'm going to write down 2 and 4 the opposite way around. Now, up until now, we didn't bother, but you'll see in a minute why I'm going to do it like that. Uh, we also could have 8 and 1 and 1 and 8. Now, these can either be both positive signs, like I have, or both the numbers could also be negative because that's a plus 8. So like for example, it could also be minus 1, minus 8 because when you multiply them, you'll get plus 8. Okay, that's step 1 done. Now we need to go over to this number over here in front of the x squared and do the same thing because we need to split that between two brackets. So we need to ask ourselves, what two numbers multiply to give me 3? And this one is nice and sim simple. It's going to be 3 and 1. Okay, so we're going to go straight in now and start trying to fill out my bracket. Unfortunately, I can't do what I've been doing uh, in the easier questions, which was looking at the numbers on the right-hand side and seeing which one adds to get the middle number that's in front of my x. The reason why I can't do that is because I have this 3 in front of the x squared that needs to come into play before I add them together. So, equal sign underneath draw our two brackets. So the 3x squared needs to be split up into 3x and x. So no matter what playing around what I do, that's going to stay there. But I need to go to the right hand side now and I'm going to do some trial and error. So I've got loads of different options. I'm not sure which way around they go. We're just going to go through the different options. So let's start with option number one on the right hand side, which is the four going into the first bracket and the two going into the second bracket. I'm going to do my smiley face rule. I'm not even going to bother putting in the pluses or the minuses because I'm not sure which one will work yet. So smiley faces, four times x gives me four x. I'm not sure if it's a plus or a minus yet. And three x multiplied by two gives me six x. Then I do four x plus six x, which gives me 10x, which will not work. If it was minus 4x and minus 6x, it would give me minus 10x. That also doesn't work. So this first number one, try number one, does not work. So we're going to go and try number two. So if we go back up to the right-hand corner, we want to try number two now, where the two comes first and the four comes second. So we start our brackets again. We only have one option with the 3x squared, so that goes in again. Now I'm going to write 2 here and 4 here. And again, we haven't filled in our uh, symbols yet. So 2 times x gives me 2x, and 3x times 4 gives me 12x. Now I need to ask myself, is there any way by both of those numbers being positive or both of them being negative, that when we add them together, it will give me plus 14. And yes, if that's plus 2x, whoops, and that's plus 12x, they will add together to give me 14x. So all I need to do now is add in my plus and my plus, and that's my answer. Okay guys, one more example to have a look at then. And again, this is a challenging example because we have the number six in front of the x squared. So step one, we go to the number um, with no x or x squared beside it and we say to ourselves, okay, what two numbers multiply to give me plus five? One example or one version would be five and one. And our other example when we swap those around would be one and five. And again, because it's plus five, they both have to be positive or both negative. 
Then I'm going to go over to my left hand side and think, okay, what two numbers multiply to give me six? Again, I've got two options. I have three and two, and I have six and one. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, why aren't you writing them the flipped way? So three and two and two and three and six and one and one six. You don't need to bother doing it for that one because you're flipping the plus five. You're changing those around the order in the brackets. You don't need to do it for both of them. Okay, so to make this very clear, I'm going to label the two options on the left-hand side as option A and option B. And then on the right-hand side, I'll label that option one and option two. So there's a couple of different ways I need to try this, but hopefully we'll get the answer eventually. So I'm going to start off with option A, which is using the three and the two for my x squared. And then I'm going to match that with option number one. So split the six x squared into three x and two x. And then I'm going to go with option number one first, which is writing the five here and the one here. And again, I'm not deciding if it's a plus or a minus. I'm just going to do my smiley faces. So 5 times 2x gives me 10x, and 3x times 1 gives me 3x. Now I need to think to myself, is there any way that I could plus or minus those two numbers together to create plus 17x? And no matter what I do, I will not be able to create 17x, so that doesn't work. So I'm going to stay with option A, and I'm going to now try option 2 with it. So that's splitting up my brackets and writing in 3x and 2x. And I'm going to go over to option 2 and I'm going to fill the 1 in here and the 5 here. Do my smiley faces again. 1 times 2x gives me 2x. 3x times 5 gives me 15x. Then I ask myself, is there any way by plusing or minusing those numbers that I will get an answer of 17x? And hopefully we'll spot that if they are both pluses, they will add to give me 17x, which is what I want. So therefore, that's a plus, and that's a plus, and we've got our answer. Of course, I had option B to try, but I don't need to try that now because I've got my answer. Okay, guys, so the last example I want to go through with you um, is, again, a more difficult example. And we also need to take into account that our last number is a minus so that's really important as well so first of all same thing again what two numbers multiply to give me minus 14 so it could be 2 and 7 where one of them is a plus and one of them is a minus or we could do the other way around which would be 7 and 2 where one of them is a plus and one of them is a minus it could also be 14 and 1 where one's a plus and one's a minus or 1 and 14 where one's a plus and one's a minus so I'm going to write one number is a plus and one number is a minus. Okay, so technically we actually have like eight versions of that, but we're not gonna worry about writing that out right now. And then on the left-hand side, what two numbers multiply to give me two? That's going to be two and one. So on the left, I only have one option. On the right, I've got lots of options. So we're gonna set this up again. I'm gonna put two x here and x here. So I'm gonna start off with number one. So I'm gonna put the two in here and the seven in here, but remember, I'm not sure which one is a plus and which one is a minus yet. We'll sort that out in a second. So two times x gives me two x, and two x times seven gives me 14 x. I ask myself, is there any way by making one of them a plus and one of them a minus that we can create three x? And no, there's not, so that does not work. So we'll go on to option number two, which is the seven first, and the two second. So again, we only have one option for our two x squared, so pop those in again. And then I'm gonna write the seven here and the two here. Seven times x gives me seven x, and two times, uh, two x times two gives me four x. Then I say to myself, by making one of them a plus and one of them a minus, is there any way that I can get the answer plus three x? And hopefully we'll spot that if we do 7x minus 4x, that gives me plus 3x. So that means that the 7x needs to be a positive, which means that if I go up my uh, smiley face, we'll see that that then needs to be a plus 7. But my minus 4x has to be a minus, which means that that 2 needs to be a minus 2. And that will complete our question then to give us our factorized quadratic. So that is our answer there. 
Okay, guys, so if you want to have a quick go at these four questions, factorizing each of them, and then you can, uh, well, pause the video, have a go at them, and play it at the end. Okay, so I'm going to go through these nice and quickly. So the first thing I'm going to do is work out what two numbers multiply to give me um, plus 9. So that's going to be 3 and 3, or minus 3 and minus 3. Then I ask myself which two add together to give us 6. So it's going to be 3 and 3. So very simply, x and x and plus 3 plus 3. If you do your smiley face rule, that will also give you the correct answer. Moving on to number 2 then, we say to ourselves, what two numbers multiply to give us minus 30? So here we have the option of uh, 5 and minus 6, minus 5 and 6, 30 and minus 1, or 1 and minus 30. Then I ask myself, which one of those adds to give me minus 1? And I actually was lucky I picked the first one. 5 plus minus 6 will give you minus 1. So that one's going to work. So underneath, split up my x squared into x and x. And all I need to do now is pop in my plus 5 and minus 6. And then just do a quick check. So that's going to give me plus 5x. That's going to give me minus 6x, which will add together to give me minus x. Moving on to question number 3 then. This is slightly more difficult because we have our uh, number in front of the x squared. So I ask myself, what two numbers multiply to give me minus 4? So that's going to be 2 and 2. And one of them needs to be a minus and one needs to be a plus. Or I could also have minus 1 and 4. Or uh, 4 and 1. And vice versa, the other way around. So let's uh, also look at the number 3 then. What two numbers multiplies to give me 3? Well, that one's nice and easy. It's just 3 and 1. So we're going to write out our double bracket. 3x here, x here. Let's go with our 2s first of all. Forgetting about the signs for a minute. So when I multiply 2 by x, we get 2x. And 3x by 2 gives me 6x. So we ask ourselves, is there any way by making one of them a plus and one of them a minus that that can create or um, cancel down to be just 1x? And unfortunately, no, there's not. So that one's not going to work. So I'm going to try now the next one. So I will put down 3x and x. And I'm going to try... So I'm going to try the second one, which is going to be 1 and 4. Again, we'll figure out the signs in a minute. So 1 times x gives me x, and three time, 3x three times 4 gives me 12x. Is there any way by adding uh, one and subtracting the other that I'm going to end up with plus x? No, unfortunately there's not, so that one's not going to work. So now I need to try my third option, which is the 4 here and the 1 here. So 4 times x gives me 4x. 3 uh, times 3x three times 1 gives me 3x, and I need those to add together to give me just plus x. One of the numbers needs to be a plus, and one of them needs to be a minus. So obviously, I need it to be 4 plus 4 minus 3. So therefore, my 4 needs to be a plus, and my 1 needs to be a minus. And there we go, that's our answer. So it's 3x plus 4 multiplied by x minus 1. Last question, same thing plus 9. It can either be broken up into 3 and 3, or minus 3 and minus 3, uh, or 9 and 1, or minus 9 and minus 1. 2 can only be split up into 2 and 1. So straight underneath, double brackets, 2 uh, and 1, so it's going to be 2x and x. I'm going to start off with my first one, which is 3 and 3. And I'm going to do my smiley face. So 3 times x gives me 3x. And 2x times 3 gives me 6x. Is there any way of either keeping those as pluses, both of them, or both minuses that they can add together to give me 9x? And happy days, if we add both of them together, they will give me 9x, which means that both need to be plus. And first time lucky, that is our answer. So it's 2x plus 3 by x plus 3.